showed us images of a beautiful sunrise a short time ago, but those images will be short lived. It seems today Yeah, the clouds are going to win out. The temperatures are going to be chilly and we'll be dodging the raindrops for your Memorial Day. Looking at our Narragansett beach camera. I've got to go back to that beautiful sky here this morning as the clouds thicken and lower here. We are going to see a generally cloudy day for us. Certainly a lot more clouds and sunshine near uh, Newport Harbor right now. Still quiet and you're finding that to be the case in Providence too. right along the coastline. There are a few very light showers or sprinkles trying to clip places like Charlestown and uh, Ninigret. As we look wider at that view, you can see more wet weather off over uh, parts of Long Island right now in coastal Connecticut, and that's trying to lift to the north and east. It's a slow process, but over the next few hours, the shower is definitely going to be moving in. It'll be cool and it'll also be breezy for today, but no severe weather. So that's why our threat tracker is in the green and we're gonna keep it that way for Tuesday and on Wednesday. Our temperatures outside running from the upper 40s inland to the low and mid 50s along the coast. Newport's at 52 westerly 54 51 in New Bedford and we've got a lot of 50s across uh, New England this morning as we move into the afternoon system passing to our south and to our north and combination of both of those will give us the clouds and the showers and notice how much cooler it's going to be around here compared to areas just to our west where they'll be basking in summer's warmth. For us, it's an area of low pressure passing to our south. It'll deliver some showers. We'll get uh, two batches of wet weather, one that passes to our south, another more to our north, and we're in between, so we do get some of the wet weather around. It's going to be showery and cool, but not necessarily a heavy rainfall for us. And our future cast shows that passing rainfall through the afternoon and early evening hours, and then tapering off as we head later into the evening and night. So waking up tomorrow morning back to drier skies, but maybe a little bit of uh, fog and spots. If you're out on the roads this morning, traveling temperatures around 52 degrees, eventually needing those wipers and keeping the lights on rainy and cool this afternoon. Middle 50s along the coastline, low and mid 50s inland, about 55 East Providence, West Warwick in the afternoon in the 50s, Johnston as well. And we're only going to see temperatures mostly in the 50s, mid 50s, New Bedford, Fall River and in Seekonk. Out on the bay today, visibility drops in that wet weather. Winds will be breezy. The wave heights one to two feet, kind of a, a nasty day to be out on the water tonight down to 49 degrees, mostly cloudy, patchy fog may reduce some visibility for the start of the morning commute tomorrow. So morning fog giving way to partly sunny skies, not as chilly, but still running a little cooler than normal into the mid and upper 60s for highs on Tuesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. The shower possible a high around 72 Thursday looks dry comfortable 75. We have some low 70s on Friday with a shower possible and then the weekend right now looking mainly dry. Maybe some showers by Sunday evening or Sunday night. You can get the updated future cast track the rainfall for today.